What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today I'm going to work on the uh, Model A again. I'm going to install a starter. Hopefully I've got a known good starter on my engine. Well, I don't know it, but I'm hoping it's going to be a good starter. Uh, I'm going to figure out the distributor. We're going to turn this thing over. I'm going to drain the oil in it too. So I'm going to put some oil in it. Probably going to put transmission fluid in it so it'll kind of flush things out. What we've got here is, it looks like a 15 16 So I don't see a 15 16 so I got a good old adjustable, which I normally don't like to recommend, but uh, it'll be fine. Now this oil has been in this car for, I know, well over 40 years. So it'll be interesting to see what we've got here. It's it's sludgy. And uh I'm making a mess. Oh god. Oh god! That's getting her to come out. Oh, gross. I let her drain for a right good while. I'm going to put the drain plug in, tighten it up, and then I'm going to figure out how many quarts does a Model A hold. And I'm going to put transmission fluid in it. I'm using the transmission fluid to flush out the system. It'll be okay to run on it for a short time. I wouldn't be driving all over town on it. So, just for testing purposes only. I'm going to take off the starter, and I'm going to put it on the, uh, the 30. I don't know anything about this starter. I don't even know if it's any good. I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed and hope that it's good. Oh, come on. Alright guys, so I'm going to check the uh, starter. Not sounding too good. I guess I'll lube it up and give it another shot. So I, I drained the oil, now I need to know how much fluid to put in the uh, crankcase. The oil pan. I am putting the automatic transmission fluid in it, so I'm going to fill it up with however much is supposed to go in there, so I'm going to Google it. This one says four and a half quarts, although I know a bunch of y'all are probably giving me crap right now for putting automatic transmission fluid in the oil. I'm going to Google that to see if it's okay. I get a lot of different answers here. Um, it seems like there's more that say there's no harm, no problem, so I'm just going to put the ATF in and if I get her to run for five minutes then I'll change the oil and change it and put regular oil in it. All right. Four and a half quarts of automatic transmission fluid in the crankcase. This is going to be the half quart here. I'm going to have to buy a new starter drive or something to put on the end of that starter. Wait a minute. I, I've got a flathead V8 starter. I wonder if it's the same. So right here, guys, I have the uh, starter for my 50 model Ford flathead. And it looks like it has the same drive on the end of it as my Model A. Please fit. Ugh. 
it looks like it works. Let's go over there and take the starter off and give it a shot. Okay guys, you can't see it, but I'm about to hook up the jumper cables to this battery on the floor and see if we can make some magic happen. Please work. I wonder if we have any compression. Two cylinders that have compression. We have compression. As y'all can see, the starter's working. We have compression. Now I'm going to work on this ignition. So I've hooked up the electrics to the uh, coil and the distributor and I'm hoping that I'm going to get some sort of a spark where it's supposed to be sparking and not where it's not supposed to be sparking. I do realize this is a 6 volt system so I wired a bulb in line to take up some of the juice from the 12 volts. Is it going to work? I don't know. We'll find out. It's kind of a resistor. Uh, let's see what happens. That should light up whenever I hook up the battery. Well, it's blinking, but I don't see any sparks. I don't have any ignition. The engine's spinning over freely. I have what feels like pretty good compression. So I need to find me a coil and probably some points, ignition stuff, so I can see if I can get it uh, firing. I did a little bit of research. I found out that on this, uh, on the Model A's, this car is a positive earth car. Well, I'm going to swap it to a negative earth car. Uh, what held me up last night was, one, I didn't know that you could swap negative to positive, positive negative, in this case, on these, but you can, and you just have to change the polarity on the generator, yada yada. <clears throat> um, and what held me up, I had a coil for this thing, for, for 12 volt negative earth, I didn't know it was going to work. I did my research, found out it would work, so I'm converting it today. So I'm going to put a new coil on it, and I'm going to fin I'm going to make sure those points are clean, uh, power it up, and see if I can get it to fire off. So I have this coil, and I'm going to install it in the factory location, and this is only temporary. I'm just doing this to get it running. I will get the factory coil and all that. But this is for testing purposes only. To the negative side of the coil, put this on. I'm not mistaken this wire goes here this wire goes here this wire goes here and that wire goes there I'm gonna wire in a resistor because this coil uses an external resistor there she is resistor 
resistor wired up. Makes me feel better. Look at that. We have spark. So now I'm going to put the plugs in it, put some wires to it, and see what we get. Putting in the plugs. So I am rigging up my ignition system because I don't have the old wires, but I will get them because this is a uh, pretty ghetto. Okay, cool. I believe I'm going to take this little vacuum line apart and I'm going to add fuel that way. Alright guys, we're going to give it a shot. What do you think of that, guys? Yeah. Little smoky. Little smoky. But, uh, that is a, a really good sign. <laughs> so there she is. First time it's run in years. Got my makeshift ignition there. I will fix that. Uh, the coil, gonna change that. Uh, I just wanted to hear it run, and it's uh, it sounded like it was running on all four cylinders. Sounded really good. I gotta get out of here. All that Marvel mystery oil. Wow, a little smoky, a little smoky, but it, it'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch y'all later.